We're going to take a look at the project update feature within SAP. I was recently showing our techs how to use the project compare feature, which will allow you to pull a controller's live program and then bring it into your set project. Uh, and someone had asked how the project update works. Project update must be a newer feature within SAP because it's one that I've never used. And after taking a look at it, it's by far the fastest way to take a controller file out of a controller and bring it right into your set database. The main difference between these two, project compare, you already have to have the LAN in the controller set up in your project view. It could be a blank one, but it has to be there already for the compare to run. Project update will automatically create any missing LANs and controller files automatically for you. So you just upload the files, run project update, and it will add away as it needs. So let's take a look at this. So I got a blank project here. It's just a new one I started. I do have my site already set up and connected. First step to using this is to get an upload of the controller. So pull the file out of the controllers that you're interested in. I'm gonna refresh the site here, and we're gonna take a look at these four controllers right here. I'm gonna use a transfer list so I can upload all these in one shot. That over there. So I got the four controllers I want. Upload selected, and I let that run. All right, so we got the files. Again, those files are gonna be put under your set project in the upload folder. Now that we have the files, we can go under project update. You can see it found those four controller files. It knows what the firmware version is, so it even handles um, making sure that any modules it creates match that same firmware version. So I'm gonna check off update database, and it's essentially gonna pull these files and do the compare function on all of them. And there we go. So if you look, it created that LAN 98, which matches what the site has, and I have the four controllers brought in. And that's all there is to it. Uh, it's pretty nice that the update feature creates all the files for you, or at least all the blanks if you don't have them. That was a bit of uh, work before. And you can see there's nothing too magical on the compare. You're still going to lose if you're starting from blanks. You're going to lose your module names. You're going to lose your connectives, um, page names, text. But you have a strategy you can sort out fairly quickly.